Hey yo, what's good? What's going on, everyone? Everyone, welcome back to another video, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share the video out, watch the ads, and all that other good stuff. Okay, help me, help y'all, and we'll be fine. All right. But without further ado, let's hop into this bad boy. Now, as you see by the title of the video, we're going to talk about what is the fastest way to get your CR up. Whether you're a new character, brand new, just got a Brainiac ship, got through level 30, now you're here. And you're trying to figure out how do I get the latest DLC stuff and how I get my CR and make my character super strong, yada, 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 right? Follow along the steps of this video. Or if you're alt. If you're trying to level up an alternate character, you know, your main character, he's up there, he's high, he's mighty, yada, yada, yada. And you, now you just want another character made for a different role, made for a different power, whatever the case may be. Okay, cool. In the video, I'm going to show you how to do that in the fastest possible way. Now, fortunately enough, at the, recording, at the time of the recording of this video, it is Triple Mark Week for Coins of Raw, which is the sense of black adam doc currency all right and because of that it is insanely fast to go ahead and get this up now i recommend that you end up doing this kind of method when it's a double or triple mark currency whether it be for source marks or some doc mark okay preferably the latest doc mark because it works the best that way now what i mean by that is you're pretty much going to do two things well two main categories of things that has a lot in between them all right now of course if you're a lower level or just lower cr you're going to have this event tab here it's going to have right now i see the anniversary event for me as well as the latest dlc um instances content and the event version that you're able to do i think at level 10 plus or as it says right here relevant to 20 plus Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep pretty much running this every single week. Um, you can go ahead and run your four players and your solo and stuff every day. I like to stick to pretty much the weeklies to make sure those are covered first and foremost. Then go to the daily stuff like four players and solos. Okay, but if it is triple marks like how it is this week, these raids are gonna be your best friend. You're pretty much gonna keep either resetting these if you have a constant spam group that you can sit here running with that's great that's amazing that's cool and if you're kind of solo pugging it like i am or even have a spam group in whatever latest dlc area you can do the open world missions very quickly and a lot faster than raids even the fastest raids still take roughly like maybe 15 minutes but you can get the same amount of marks from doing the weeklies in the open world and just a two to three minutes you know what I mean it is very quick very fast well, I'm not even gonna go over there cuz y'all pretty much know how to how to do all that okay and this is for any DLC not just this one in particular but once you have accumulated and run this content I would say run everything at one good time get whatever highest item level gear is giving you whether it's on your support side or your damage side of things does not matter um as you're the lower cr levels now as you're the higher cr levels like how i am pretty much uh, oh i think i'm current right now actually just kidding i never close okay it says required cr is 368 so i said once you get 368 and above for this particular DLC at the time of the score, then you can start worrying about, you know, matching your gear to be all DPS, all damage set, or all troll, okay? But as the lower levels, it really don't matter, okay? It's whoever's highest. And as you do that, you get the highest gear, you're gonna slightly increase through the CR ladder, the combat rating ladder, those who don't know what it is camera right there to measure combat effectiveness based upon the best equipment in your possession and your possession means either equipped on your character or in your inventory okay so you can equip it now with that said and all that content that you went ahead and ran whether it be on the on duty menu and queuing up for scenarios or you know plugging groups for it okay cool either way doing that as well as doing the open world missions 
you'll have a good amount of source marks and whatever the latest DLC mark is. Now you can also come over to the on duty tab and do whatever when you go to custom play, do whatever I would say recommend the raids once again, pretty good, pretty easy and a lot of other people can carry you through it. That's what's nice about having so many people in there. Okay, whichever one that you're in, you can get the marks relevant to that particular DLC. Um, now if it's a little bit lower, like pretty much t tier five and below, you're gonna get source marks for it, which is cool, fine, Danny. The more source marks, the merrier. Just keep running these content. You can also come over here and back out, go to the main on duty menu, go to quick play with the omnibus stuff and just queue up for the raids there. That's also a good source mark farm as well. That will help you out for the source marks and you're gonna need source marks as you know. When we come back over to the House of Legends and let's go to the two vendors once again to show y'all, okay? Pretty much said all that and made y'all do all that work. So now you have a little bit of currency to spend, all right? And with this new currency and a little bit of increased gear that you've got, you should be able to now spend some some marks on both this guy right here. I did my character small. Okay, the Tempest Fudge Knight. Actually, he's the tear vendor. And he's gonna give you pretty much everything all the way up until the 295 gear, actually the ultimate set, which is the flash point DLC, I believe. Yeah, Flashpoint one. That's that one. And you'll come over here to Catwoman, wow, who will also sell pretty much all the episodes stuff. So, so purple gear, the actual yellow vendor gear, the regular set of it, as well as the elite version of it as well. Now, the nice thing that you can do if you are on an alternate character you know a different character other than one that you played previously or your main character is you can feet unlock it if you have it on a different character and to do that you'll come over press start go to your deeds go to feats scroll on down to styles go to iconic styles for it and then you'll just come over to whichever one it is and let's say it's this one and you'll feet unlock bam it will give you that feat you know add it to that maybe you get a skill point for it cool find Danny whatever right all that matters is you have that feet unlocked no matter if you have the actual set or not it does not matter okay now if you do end up later on going back and collecting that set you will not get the feet for it since you already have the feet for it okay just so you know you can't just double dip on it all right that's why I do recommend that you get the enhanced version of that set not just a regular. Um, but I say all that to say this. When you get the enhanced version of whichever set, right, you'll get then a discount to pretty much essentially repurchase the set, so to speak. But you're able to purchase the set for the first time on an alternate character at a discounted rate. Saving yourself some marks, time, energy, replays, whatever, right? But if you do the enhanced one or the elite set, you're able to now get a discount bonus for also the regular set of it, of the yellow gear. And also you're able to get a discount for the purple gear. Now the purple gear, generally speaking, does drop at a, you know, kind of rare uh, drop rate within that DLC, whether you're doing an open world mission, opening the loot boxes that come from the particular missions, the weekly and the dailies, or if you're running the, the content, you know, solos, duos, alerts, raids, run the content whenever you defeat a boss, you get the loot, and it has a chance to drop there. But if it doesn't drop there, you can always buy it in the vendor, which is what the fastest way will end up being, because more than likely, um, if there's a lot of people on and people are out in the open world, I recommend that you, you know, go to Leia's DLC, phase with them as needed so you see that one's full but there's only 15 in my phase i'll probably come to phase two so there's almost double that and try to run with them hopefully they're doing the weekly stuff and go from there 
right? Keep accumulating marks, keep going back to the two vendors. Um, and with the two vendors, as you know, and as you saw with Catwoman, she's gonna sell you the higher item level gear. And as you see about the purple stuff, which is pretty much what it's gonna get you up through the DLCs for now, purple gear is gonna be your best friend. It's gonna give you the highest amount. Cause you saw on the other one, he was selling 295 gear. This is item level 325, okay? So significantly big difference there. That's gonna help you out. Now, what does also help is that the Tempest Fudge Knight, he sells not only the gear, but the weapons, the face the, the face gear, the neck, the rings, uh, utility belt and trinket, all right? Which is gonna help you out, cover all the extras, right? Cause you will have to pretty much be well-rounded cause it does take an average of all your gear. So, Get your actual gear, like your chest, your head, and all this stuff in here from her. And then come over here to him for your your neck, your rings, your utility belt. You don't have to get the trinket. It's utility belt or trinket, but just get utility belt for the sake of it. And then your weapon as well, okay? Get that and whatever the highest one is, as you see. He'll keep scaling up as you keep progressing. So it's 295 is the highest. 265 was before that. 185 was before that. And so on and so forth, okay? 135. But as you keep progressing through the CR tiers, um, he will keep scaling up and give you higher level gear awesome. to yeah. get. Um, now I've even seen so much so where he gets you 80 item levels um, above your current one if you're you know if you're that much lower well, on, I guess you know, it's a party now. the gear which definitely helps you out nonetheless so you pretty much keep alternating between them to keep spamming the open world boss missions is probably your fastest bet if you're able to find a good phase for it or just make a group for it as well you can always uh, shout in like LFG for people to help join you, people to help group up, or to join someone else's group, okay? And with that being said, just to recap, pretty much run the, the event version of the latest DLC to constantly get their marks. Hopefully you do this when the latest DLC is having like a double or triple mark a week, or even having a double, triple source mark week, okay? So you're able to help spend your source marks here with this guy. That's what he takes for currency. And for the latest DLC, you'll spend it with her here. Get the get the actual gear here from her, from Catwoman, and get all the jewelry and your weapon from this gentleman here. And that is essentially it. It's going to help you get up incredibly fast right now. It's triple mark week, as like I said before. And I only spent a couple hours with, on this character here. And I'm almost, what, maybe one CR away from getting into the latest DLC. And even from there, that's just a couple of boss um, fights, open world weekly boss fights that people are already going to be defeating I just gotta you know throw my couple hits in there to get credit for it and done now he got full vending gear and he's ready to go I can work on his artifacts and the skill points then once I got my gear set up but look that, that's just my method of doing it for all 10 characters let me know yours in the comment section down below if you have any tips or anything like that let us also know in the comment section down below let's all help each other out as a community like we should and without further ado, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share the video out, let people know about this content. Hopefully it's helpful to someone out there and all that other good stuff. Uh, make sure you tune in to, to the live streams and the giveaways that should be coming out soon. There's already a few giveaways that's still on and active on the channel now. Excuse me, I had a burp, so I definitely apologize for that. Didn't mean to do it to y'all ears. Well, yeah, 
Tune in for the giveaways. I got loadout videos coming for every single power that's in DCO for the support role and the damage role of them. Um, I do a whole array of videos, power loadouts, giveaways, little informational videos like I'm doing in this one here, and just odds and ends here, some entertaining ones, etc. Without further ado, I already said like and subscribe. But yeah, just make sure you do that. Please and thank you. Watch the ads. It helps me. And when y'all help me, I can in in turn help y'all. I'm getting ahead of myself and I feel like I'm messing this up. But I've already recorded this a few times, so this is about to get posted regardless. Peace and shalom, y'all.